Let's work on the concept of short run production in this video. So suppose we have production in the company that depends on capital and labor. And because we're in the short run, whatever we invest in the capital, in the machines, we can't really change because first of all, that's expensive and it's not really practical because machines have a longer time to get used, to be to become obsolete. So it's, it's wise to assume that in the short run, for the first couple of months or even years, we're just gonna use the same capital, but we can change the people. We can hire better people, we can fire the worse employees and so on. So what we're having here is a relationship between production and labor keeping capital constant because again in the short run we assume that it is fixed and it's a wise it's a wise assumption now what we're trying to show here is a very realistic relationship between labor and production which is which is showing that there are diminishing returns to labor meaning that adding more people does not necessarily mean that production will keep rising and hopefully this makes intuitive sense because as we add more people to the same capital because the capital is fixed so labor is increasing for same capital well there's gonna be less things to do for every employee because the people themselves are gonna use only so much capital are gonna use only so much of the machines there's not gonna be enough for everyone or it's just it's just not gonna be necessary that's the reason that the additional value that we get from the people which we call the marginal production of labor so the additional the marginal production right production from the labor from hiring an additional one more employee is gonna decrease it is going up but it is going up at a decreasing rate so is decreasing is decreasing if we try to express that mathematically to literally understand we're gonna use just some simple derivatives the first derivative of the production function with respect to labor is positive showing that it is actually increasing so more people are going to produce us more that makes sense but it's going to produce less and less by hiring more and more people so it's going to increase at a decreasing rate meaning that the second order derivative which is showing us whether the function is going to be convex or concave well that's going to be negative showing that we're going to have a concave function a concave graph and that's what we see over here we are flattening out the curve because the production can only increase so much and there's going to be a point where we're literally having no more no more additional benefit from hiring more people hope this makes sense and we are done